Hello everybody, call your Swecker in Birmingham, Alabama. Hope everybody's having an awesome day. We're here at the uh, start or the end of August, beginning of September, and you know, Birmingham, uh, we're dealing with hurricanes, tornadoes, as you know, over the last couple of years, really been, uh, the area in some areas of Birmingham have been devastated by tornadoes. And one of the questions we get asked a lot, and matter of fact, one of the big storms a few weeks ago down in uh, Pelham, Alabama, this came became a problem and it's flash flooding. And who's gonna cover it uh, when you have a flash flood, a, a just a major, Major, major rainstorm came and these houses that weren't built technically in a flood zone uh, had a flash flood and in a very they were low line and they weren't able to uh, obviously the main levels of their homes uh, are wrecked essentially uh, by the flood waters uh, because you know the water wasn't able to get out and drain out of the neighborhood and the question we're asked often is about flood insurance and uh, there's a misconception I think out there that you don't need flood insurance if you're not in a flood zone not always the case because obviously your homeowner's insurance is not going to cover you in the case of a flash flood uh, and similar situations like that uh, that you just have a freak of nature happen and and then you're flooded so uh, keep that in mind and so when you're going through the closing process on your new home uh, one of the things that you need to really make sure especially if you're in Alabama we're in a buyer beware state is not only check the flood maps, but if you have any concern at all, and matter of fact, almost 99% of the time when you have a mortgage involved, you're going to sign papers, and you probably, if you've already bought a house, you don't realize that you've signed a piece of paper saying you have the ability to get flood insurance even though you're not in a flood zone. And, you know, if, there, if you're in a low-lying area, it doesn't cost much if you're not in a flood zone, not nearly as much as if you are in a flood zone and you need flood insurance. So you might find that you get a little more peace of mind of knowing that you'll be covered should that happen because you can't rely on government assistance uh, and you can just ask many people around here uh, about that from the tornadoes and that sort of thing about the government assistance is not going to make you whole get flood insurance if you have any question of what you know you're in a low line area and you think it may flood get it because it's going to be fairly inexpensive if you're not in a flood zone so uh, if you have any questions comments email me call your at megaagents.com have an awesome day